Hope you kick your legend. Today we're gonna advance that hanging teeth drill one more step. So welcome to Kick the Legend, where I help you athleticize your important part to your fight. Once again, I'm here with Crew Bruce. Bruce, Crew Bruce, and he's gonna help me advance this drill one more time. So quick review, the original drill, just kick and then push kick. Now what happens if I steal the range away from him and he doesn't have time to put that teeth up? So if I don't have time, if you notice that, that my range is a lot different. On the first part of the drill, we practice, when I kick and he stays right there, he's giving me enough range and room to follow with the push kick. So I now have enough room to interrupt him. But now we're looking at a different scenario when he steps forward right after my kick. Now you notice this is about short medium, so we're gonna have to rely on different tools now. And what we're gonna do, you can now follow up with either switch knee or switch uh, or right knee. So what we're gonna do is practice on following up with the switch knee today. All right, so we're gonna go again from here, switch kick, pop, and when he comes forward, just go with a switch knee, all right? So now, again, let's say, let's say I do this without the pads. So once he pops in, I'm gonna go low kick, Bam! And he comes forward, go right upstairs. The area you want to hit is the solar plexus. This is the area that the nerve bundles are, and when you hit that nerve bundle, your diaphragm is going to contract and you feel windy. So that's where you want to strike when you go for the switch. You notice that's a little bit higher than you might think, right? Uh, you know, you don't want to hit these abs, it's going to break his kneecap, his poor kneecap. So it is a little higher than you think, which is why sometimes when you see Thai people knee, it looks like almost artificially high, yes. right? Yeah, so uh, that's one thing. That's why when we train here, we like to do a lot of knees on the bags. In fact, we like to do maybe two to five hundred knees just to get warmed up. And again, of course, uh, on our bags, we have maybe different uh, letters, and we're gonna use those to direct uh, the strikes. A lot of people will start off maybe on the lower portion, and we're like, all right, you're gonna get better, start raising it up. So you guys get used to kneeing up here, especially when a lot of people, when they get tired, they start kneeing down here, and that's not what we want. We wanna go right up there, so again, Take your time when you're on the bags, just crack your knee or right upstairs. So now to advance this drill, incorporating all those ideas, right? So I as the feeder, I'm gonna give him the cue, right? So after his first kick, he sees the hole, he goes right away. After the kick, he sees the hole after a pause, he still goes right away as soon as he sees it. He can either wait for it with the, with the knee up, or he can deliver it when, when he sees the hole. Once again, so I delay the hole, but then he's still electing to knee. And then third one, I delay the hole so long he decides to march in. That still gives me plenty of time to get that, that left pad ready, right? I have two whole steps. He really shouldn't have to wait for this pad hold if he decides to march in. And then last one, after the kick, I follow in and he goes right away. So again, this is a great drill to develop uh, how to read the cues and it's pretty safe. I know if I'm deciding to march in so I know to get this pad ready. Again, he shouldn't have to wait for me. Basic. And now we'll hang. And now we'll fake. And now, we follow with the switch knee. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Again, uh, please come check out Southside Muay Thai in Scarborough, Ontario. Crew Bruce and his team here. Uh, great team, I highly enjoyed my time here. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, check them out. Uh, follow them on social media, Instagram. Uh, you'll find the links in the video description below. Uh, in the meantime, this is Rock Kick Legend. Keep your chin down and elevate your striking.